Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic of biology known as Denver classification of chromosomes. So let's start the video. Denver classification is a system for classifying human chromosomes based on their morphological characteristics or physical appearance under a microscope. This classification system was developed by Dr. William Denver in the year 1960 and is widely used in medical genetics to identify and diagnose chromosomal abnormalities. In the Denver classification, chromosomes are divided into seven groups based on their appearance. First, metacentric. These chromosomes have a single centromere in the middle and arms of equal length. The centromere divides the chromosomes into two arms, the P arm and the Q arm. Number second is Submetacentric. These chromosomes have a single centromere, but the armors are of unequal length. The centromere divides the chromosome into a longer P arm and a shorter Q arm. Number third is acrocentric. These chromosomes have a single centromere and a very short P arm. The Q arm is much longer. Number four, telocentric. These chromosomes have a single centromere at the very end, giving the chromosome a stick-like appearance. Number 5 is subtelocentric. These are a hybrid of acrocentric and telocentric chromosomes and have a single centromere that is closer to one end than the other. Number 6 is marker chromosomes. These are small chromosomes with unclear morphological features. They are often seen in individuals with genetic disorders. At last, we have ring chromosomes. These chromosomes have fused to form a ring-like structure. Ring chromosomes can result in a variety of genetic disorders. The Denver classification system is an important tool in the diagnosis and management of genetic disorders. By determining the morphological characteristics of chromosomes, geneticists and medical professionals can identify chromosomal abnormalities and provide accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatments. Understanding the Denver classification is also important for research purposes as it provides a standardized method for describing and comparing chromosomal features. This is the end of the video. I hope uh, you liked the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video.